<laughs> hey, what is going on, everybody? My name is Hunt Noobs. And real quick, I want to thank you very much for stopping by, checking out my video for today. Um, you guys might be here because of the title, or you guys might be here because you are kick-ass supporters. Whatever the case may be, thanks for stopping by. A couple things I want to talk to you guys about today, and I figure no better way to do it than a vlog, right? God, this thing is not working, by the way. My Audio Technica microphone is not working. I have it plugged in, the, the, the XLR cable to USB, plug it in. It registers when I do this. Say when I tap on the mic, it shows a spike in the bar on my audio. But when I talk into it, it doesn't register. So if you guys can let me know about that in the comment section, why that might be. Now, I went to the settings. The audio is all the way turned up. I just don't know what to do, man. I mean, I'm not the most technical savvy person out there. But um, I just figured that a microphone should be a hell of a lot easier than what I'm going through right now. I ain't going to lie to you. So, I mean, I'm in the process of possibly returning this mic uh, because, I mean, what are I going to do with it? I paid $90 for it and it's not working and I can't figure it out. Um, so, anyways, if you guys will let me know in the comment section below what I might do or might help me out, I would appreciate it. So, uh, kick, quick story, kick-ass little story. Today, I decided to go get a haircut. Um, it's my birthday next week. Mine and my wife's. We might be going somewhere, so I want to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, and as I was waiting for my haircut, uh, there was about a two-hour wait. This place is packed where I go to. And so I decided to take my wife out for lunch with my kids. She, my wife had to work, so she's just right around the corner from where I'm at. Well, right around the corner from there as well is a GameStop. So I decided to stop in there. And as soon as I walk in the door, they knew who I was. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, th this, that, and other. It was awesome. Very, very, very great customer service. You guys know how I feel about GameStop. I'm not a big fan of their... Um, Selling uh, used games. I don't like how they do it. I think it's a bit over the top. How to buy it for seven bucks and sell for thirty? I think that's crazy. Um, they're kind of monopolizing the business right now. Well, in a sense, there's a lot of other companies out here doing this stuff now. So, but I just don't like how they do it. I think it's bad business. It leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I, I must admit. But, um, anyways, let me get back to the story. Basically, what it is is the other day I, I mentioned on Twitter that I pre-ordered the Juggernaut edition for the PS4. I paid $25. It was $200. I was like a kid in a candy store. I was so happy. I really want this Juggernaut frizz. It's a fridge. It's a perfect, perfect um, accessory to my man cave. So, I mean, it's going to be a centerpiece. I mean, I got some really great ideas for it. And I was excited. So, until the next day, right? The next day, I get a phone call letting me know that there was a mistake. There apparently was a glitch in the system that uh, they can no longer honor the pre-order. And uh, I was pissed, I'm not gonna lie to you, but me being in the customer service business, um, I really believe in you can't really shoot the messenger, you know? Somebody had to make this phone call and it's not her fault. Somebody fucked up, you know? I didn't really wanna chew her out for it. So basically I was just like, okay, whatever. And then I went on to Twitter and I expressed my rant there. I think it's fair that way. And I just let them know how upset I was. Now, one of the people that follow me on Twitter, uh, works at the GameStop that I go to, the one that I'm at today, where I'm going back to that story. And he told me, he asked me what happened, I let him know, he's like, well, I'm gonna check into it, see what's going on, and see if we could do anything. So I'm like, cool, you take that with a grain of salt. You're like, okay, whatever. If something happens, it happens, if it don't, it doesn't. So as I'm, I walk inside the store, uh, I, do, I don't see the guy I'm talking about, Keon, I don't see him anywhere. But I do see uh, the guy that, uh, that screamed, screamed my name out and said, hey, because he's from another store that I go to. Now, I have three locations that is in, that's, that's relatively close to my house where I'm at. And the pace, the, the pace, depending on where I'm at, uh, at my house or close to my house is the GameStop that I go to. And uh, so I was like, hey, what are you doing here? And he's over here now. And I don't know if he's a store manager or not, um, uh, but I definitely knew him and he knew me from the other store. Uh, so I go over there and start chatting with him. Then Keon come walking out and... He's, he apparently was having lunch. He said, hey, man, I seen you on camera. Hey, what's going on? We shook hands. We're out there chatting it up a little bit. We're talking some Destiny talk. Talked to another fellow there. I didn't recognize who he was, but apparently he's a monster on Destiny. I can't wait to get some games and win him tonight. Um, and I basically told him my situation. What happened? I gave a face-to-face, -face I mean, a testimonial, I guess. I almost said tutorial. And um, it's like, man, I was like, man, I really wanted this. Well, as I'm talking to him, they stopped. He asked Keon to walk to the back with him. Now, I knew something was going on. I thought it was strange that in the middle of a conversation, we're all chatting and you guys decide to just excuse yourself. So I knew something was up. I just didn't know what. Well, they came back out and he said, hey, I got a question for you. I said, yeah, what's up? He's like, uh, I know you wanted the PS4 version of the Juggernaut Edition because of the uh, the game and the, um, uh, what the hell is the DLC, whatever, I guess the, 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 the season pass. And all that, he's like, uh, but would you want to buy maybe the Xbox version Juggernaut Edition, Xbox One? And I was like, yeah, like fucking right, I would. I want this damn fridge, you dick. And uh, so he's like, well, I'm gonna give you mine. I'm gonna sell you mine. I was like, no, 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 no. I don't want to take yours. You pre-ordered it for a reason, right? 
He said, no, no, I want, I want you to have it, man. I can tell that you really want this. And you're going to appreciate it more than I am. And to be honest with you, I don't know how my girlfriend's going to take this little refrigerator sitting in our apartment. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I would love to, man. I, I, thank you. I didn't know what to say. I mean, I was like, you know, I, I, I was uh, I was flattered, man. I really was that this guy would go out do something like that uh, for somebody he really doesn't know, you know. So... The good news is I'm able to get the Juggernaut Edition. It's going to be Xbox One version. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the season pass in the game and sell it. Uh, I have no use for it. I don't. I'm not, I don't play on my Xbox One. I don't give a fuck about it. My son's on it right now playing Destiny. I don't give a shit about the, the console. I'm on the PS4. That's where it's at. So I'm going to take it, sell it, and just buy me the PS4 uh, game and the uh, season pass. That's just how I'm going to do it. Maybe an even trader with somebody. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever the case may be. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool, man, how that worked out, man. Anyways, while I was there, I seen they had a little clearance box, whatever. You know, sometimes you go in there, they have just a bunch of random shit in there. For the most part, I don't really buy anything. But the other day, I hit 1,000 followers on Twitch. Right now, I'm almost at 1,200 followers. And I was like, I want to do a giveaway just to say thank you. Now, I don't make any money on Twitch. Uh, I do make money on YouTube. But let me tell you right now, it's very little. <laughs> it's nothing spectacular. But... I do make money nonetheless, and every year I do a giveaway with uh, the new Call of Duty, and I'll be doing the same thing again. I will be giving away a new Call of Duty, the, the new Call of Duty when it comes out. Just got to figure out how I'm going to do it and uh, make it fun. Uh, last person to one last time, man. I'll tell you what, I think it cost more to ship it than it was to buy the game. He was in Canada or some shit, and it was like, it, it was it was expensive. It was like 20 bucks, I think I spent for it, um, which obviously is not much of the game. I'm just exaggerating here, guys. Work with me. But anyways, I wanted to do a giveaway, and I seen these these items that they had in the box, and I figured it'd be fun. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys already saw the pictures. If you don't follow me on Twitter, links in the description. Just saying, you're going to need to go to that link later on because I'm going to tell you how you guys are going to win this cool stuff. So basically right here, we got some advanced ass fair, excuse me, uh, a warfare um, t-shirts. Now, we have a 2XL, a large, and a medium. Going to be giving these guys away. This is pretty awesome, man. Matter of fact, if you guys can write in the comment section below, what do you think these cost me? I would love to see what you guys think, because I bet you're not fucking close. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Let me tell you that right now, what I paid for these three. Let me know what you think I paid for all three of them in the comment section below. Also, if you guys happen to follow me on Twitter, I posted another picture up, and that is of these right here. All right, trying to get the glare out of it. This is iPhone 6 covers. Now, obviously, you don't have an iPhone 6. You won't be needing these. Um, but I'm going to be giving these guys away again tonight. So I have three of the uh, Mario 8-bits, which I think is pretty fucking awesome, by the way, for my Nintendo fans out there. And i also going to give away this one here, the only one that I have, which says Game Over and Mario going down the pipe, which is pretty cool. Uh, the 8-bit, of course. So I'm going to be giving this away tonight on Twitch. So obviously you want to be able to follow me on Twitch. The link's going to be in the description for that as well. So basically what I'm going to do is the only way I can think of this is going to work out somewhat okay is I'm going to be on Twitch and I'm going to ask people to go to my Twitter and I'm going to give, ask for a number uh, between 1 and 20 and whoever gets the close or gets closest to it or I'll have them go over to my Twitter and write. I haven't quite figured out. Of course, I'll have all the uh, all the details ironed out when the stream starts. Uh, maybe I'll have you guys go comment, say say blue. Go write the color blue and just send it to me as a message. And I'll count how many people sent blue. Say there's 15 people that said blue. And I'm giving away this 2XL t-shirt. Obviously, you want to be that size of a person. And I'll go over there and I'll go to my, my Twitter. And there's 15 people on there that replied. And I'll go to the... Uh, the the number uh, random generator thing I'm involved whatever it is and I'll randomize a number and it'll give me a number between one and fifteen say it's six and then I'll go on there and when I count down to the sixth person that'll be the person that wins this I think that's fair I think it's fun it makes it fun for everybody right it's like hey I could win I could win you know and uh, I don't know man it's just it's just a thank you at the end of the day it's just a thank you from me to you for your support and uh, and I appreciate it so hopefully you guys will stop by the uh, Twitch tonight. It's going to be right around um, right around 9, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter because my wife gets home from work. We might be having dinner or whatever the case may be. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys stop by for it, man. Thank you guys again very much. I do appreciate it. I know a lot of people say this and uh, and it's just, uh, you know, some people mean it, some people don't. I mean it. Thank you guys very much for your support. Um, and uh, that's it, man. I'll see you guys on Twitch tonight. Again, follow me on Twitch. Twitch, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. The links are in the description. And I'll see you guys later. With that being said, it's your boy Hunt Noobs.
I get that way from my mic if I blow your ass. I'm at this bitch. Deuces. Get wrecked, son. Woo. God damn, if I was skinnier, you would see the fucking vein pop out of my neck. It's there. Underneath this fucking airbag. <laughs> you dick. I'm awkward.